Good evening and happy Sabbath po mga kapatid. Um, God is good and all the time. God is good. Purihin po ang ating Panginoon sapagkat tayo po ay nandito at ligtas na nakarating dito sa um, dito sa AUP. Okay. Um, bago po ang lahat, um, bago po namin ituro yung team song, inanyayahan ko po muna na tayo po isandaling yung moko para po sa panalangin. Let's pray. Panginoon, makapangyarihan ka sa lahat na nagmamayari ng aming buhay. Kami po'y lubos na nagpapasalamat, Panginoon, sa gabing ito na iyong pinagkaloob sa amin. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pag-iingat at pag sa amin habang po kami nasa biyahe at kami po'y nakarating ng ligtas dito. Nawa, Panginoon, sa aming pag-aawit ang papuri sa iyong Banal na pangalan ay samahan kami ng iyong banal na anghel at iyong banal na espiritu. Patawarin kami sa aming pagkukunan at pagkakasala. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ngayon po ay maaari po ba ninyong ilabas ang inyong pong mga program? Dahil po ang atin pong theme song ay nasa likod na bahagi o huling bahagi ng atin pong program. Ngayon po ay pag-aaral natin ang atin pong theme song entitled One in Christ. So, uh, amin po munang kakantahin ang first stanza, then yung second stanza po ay pag-aaralan natin pong sabay-sabay, at yung third po ay kayo lang, then fourth ay tayo pong lahat. Okay po, ngayon po ay ulitin po natin ulit. Uh, Pagpaumanhin niyo po, hindi ko po mabasa. Wala po akong salamin. So, uh, ulitin po natin ang um, first stanza lang po.
stanza po. Not like waves upon the ocean, tossing winds and rolling high, or the tempest of commotion as it sweeps across the sky. But like twilight gently stealing, or the ever steady lead, so the holy saints in Zion rest from all their hands set free. Blood wash pilgrims on weapon, chants the sweet melodious strains, or their freedom from confusion. Angels join the glad refrain. One with all the hosts of heaven, their witness are written down. Jesus, only Jesus, ever in their wares a king they crown. Love the theme of the prayer praises, God in hell, even the night. All their hearts in him to them darkness unto light. Does the same in Christ bear the twelve the sacred unity in the secret of his presence? He the way their Lord in thee. Para po sa ating opening song, tayo po lahat ay tumay at awitin po natin ating theme song, One in Christ. A sweet strains of heavenly music, Yeah. 
po'y lumuhod sa isang panalangin. Let us pray. Dakila at mahabagi naming Ama, Panginoon, pinupuri ka namin at pinapasalamatan sa gabing ito. Amin pong tinataas ang inyong dakilang pangalan ng pinakamataas na papuri sa gabing ito. Panginoon, sa araw ng Sabat na ito, nawa, maging kalugod-lugod po ang lahat ng aming gagawin. Alam namin, Panginoon, kami po ay nagkasala sa inyo. Sana, Panginoon, kung maari po sana sa lahat ng aming pagkukulang, kami po ay inyong patawarin upang ang lahat ng ito ay maging kalugod-lugod sa inyong harapan. Panginoon, ang sabi po ng awit ni Haring David, pagkaluban niyo po kami ng bagong puso't isipan upang ang lahat na ito ay maging kaaya-aya sa inyo. Marami po kaming dapat na ipagpasalamat sa inyo, Panginoon. Unang-una po dyan sa mga blessings na inyong pinagkakalobo sa amin. Mga blessings na hindi namin nakikita paminsan-minsan. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pag-iingat nyo sa amin at higit sa lahat sa pag-ibig na inyong pinagkalob. Sapagkat gayon na lamang po ang pag-ibig nyo sa amin. Binigay nyo po ang inyong anak upang ang sumampalataya sa Kanya ay hindi mapahamak. Panginoon, maraming pong salamat sa pag-ibig na iyon. At maraming maraming salamat pa sa lahat-lahat. Idinadalangin namin ngayong gabi, ang araw ng Sabat na ito, Panginoon, ang aming mga pastors, aming president, vice president, administrator, down to the stops, ang aming uh, first kabite music convention, ang kauna-unahang music convention, Panginoon, nawa ay maging makabuluhan po sa amin ito. Baunin namin, Panginoon, sa araw-araw naming pamumuhay bilang kristyano upang kami ay magliwanag din sa iba. Panginoon, ang aming mga speakers, lalo tigit ang aming pastora, Sister J. Dintay, ang kalakasan, katalinuhan ng langit, ang sanay kanilang maranasan mula sa umpisa hanggang sa matapos ng aming uh, seminar na ito. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pagdinig nyo sa aming panalangin. Ang lahat ng ito ay amin pong pinasalamatan at tinanggap na sa matamis na pangalan aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen. Happy Sabbath po sa ating lahat, mga kapatid. Nais ko pong i-acknowledge ang ilan sa atin pong mga resource speaker po sa ating seminar na ito. Nais kong uh, sila po ay kapag narinig niyo po, ma'am, ang inyong pangalan, kayo po ay Okay. Nais ko pong uh, i-acknowledge po ang ating uh, President, Dr. Gayuba. And then, uh, yung nangunguna po sa ating panalangin si Brother G. And then, uh, ang atin pong speaker sa gabing ito, si Sir Jonathan Pudaka. And then si Ma'am uh, Jewel Solidom, Ma'am Nerlin Biracho, si Sir Cyril Punay, nais nice kong kayo po ay... Ah, mag-welcome muna. Okay. Yes, Pastor. Kayo muna po. Thank you po. Uh, sa ngalan po ng Adventist University of the Philippines, kami po ay nagagalak na napili nyo ang ating universidad na maging venue ng inyong uh, music na seminar o convocation na ito mga kapatid. Uh, kami natutuwa na bagamat Uh, limited ang ating resources uh, kayo ay pabalik-balik dito sa AUP 
At maraming pasensyahan nyo na po kung minsan yung aming pagkukulang. At pero natutuwa po kami na narito kayo ano po, sa ating universidad. Um, maganda po ang direksyon ng ating mga leaders sa uh, pamungunan ni Pastor Parulan na ito ay uh, nagkaroon po sila ng panukala na uh, matraining ang ating mga leader sa iglesia tungkol sa musika mga kapatid. Alam nyo po ang music ay napakahalaga sa buhay ng isang kristyano. Sa ating kasaysayan, sa Adventist, bago po tayo nagpalimbag o nagpalabas ng libro tungkol sa doktrina, ang unang libro na piimprenta na James White at ang kanyang kasamahan ay walang iba kundi Church Hymnal. Ano? Kasi mahalaga yung hymns na maging instrumento ng pananampalataya at pagmamahal ng uh, isang Kristiyano. Alam po natin, ang pinakamahaban na libro sa Biblia ay, the, ay mga awit. Pinakamahaba. Ano? So, it's very, very important po. Ang El, si Ellen White, marami po siyang mga sulat na nagpapahalaga sa bahagi ng pagpupuri sa Panginoon sa paglago natin sa pananampalataya. Marami rin siyang sulat na binibigyan tayo ng babala na mag-ingat tayo sapagkat kung paano ang musika ay pagpapala, kung hindi natin ingatan, ito din ay pinanggagalingan uh, ng uh, uh, pride na doon nag nagsisimula ang paglayo natin sa Diyos. Isa sa mga isa sa mga halimbawa na hindi maganda na nakasulat sa Biblia ay si Lucifer naging satanas. Isang bahagi doon ay yung kanyang pagmamayabang dahil ang galing niya sa, sa music. Mayroon akong hindi maintindihan, Ma'am uh, Nerilyn, kasi parang may quotation doon na Lucifer can sing in four voices. How can he do that? Paano niya magawa yun at the same time? Na pag narinig mo sa kanya, eh... Parang isang tao lang pero choir na siya. Mahirap intindihin yan. Anyway, uh, as I said, we praise the Lord na mayroon kayong program uh, na ganito. Ano po? Uh, higit sa lahat, uh, bagamat marami tayong matutunan sa mga teknik, sa mga pamamaraan, alam natin na higit sa lahat sa pagpupuri sa Panginoon, ang unang tinitingnan ng Panginoong Diyos, higit sa lahat, ay yung puso ng umaawit at yung puso na nagpupuri sa Kanya. So ang aking dalangin na sa ating pagpupulong, hindi lamang yung teknik ang ating matutunan, higit sa lahat. Ang meetings na ito ay maging paraan ng ating mga puso ay mapalapit sa Panginoon. Pagpalaing sana kayo ng ating Panginoon. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid and happy Sabbath. Bilang itinalagang tagapangasiwa ng Kabite Satellite Field ay isa pong malaking katuwaan para sa akin na makita kayo ngayong gabi. Mga music leaders ng ating 94 churches dito sa ating Cavite Satellite Field na binubuo ng 20 districts. Kaya iniisip ko, Sister Jade, marami pang wala. Kasi kung tigitigisan churches, dapat 94 na yun nandito. Binibilang ko kanina itong mga chairs ay Para mapuno, dapat yung 94 times 2. Kasama associate music ministry leaders. Mga kapatid, ang Seventh-day Adventist Church is a singing church. At ang mga sabadista, kilala tayo dahil sa ating hilig sa musika. Na-imagine nyo na ba ang ating buhay 
kung walang music. Alam nyo, yung aking misis, pagka umaga, inaabangan kong maligo. Kasi po, pag naliligo yung misis ko, kumakanta ng malakas. Pagka yun po ay kumanta ng malakas sa ba- bathroom, naliligo. Ang ibig po sabihin sa akin nun, maganda po ang kanyang mood maghapon. Kaya hindi ako masyadong nag-aalala. Pero pag yun ay tahimik sa bathroom, inaabang ko paglabas kung papaano ko siya mapapasaya. Kaya po sa akin mahalaga yung music. <laughs> Na-imagine nyo na ba ang ating church pag walang music? How our worship service, kung ano mangyayari pag walang music? Kaya ganun po kahalaga ang music sa ating church. At ang Kabite Satellite Field Office po ay uh, gumagawa ng ganitong activity para matiyak na ang kalidad ng ating music sa ating mga churches ay mapapaangat hindi lamang sa aspeto ng ganda ng pag-awit, kung hindi yung tunay na diwa ng pag-awit. Dapat nating tangdaan na ang music is not performance, but it is a ministry we offered to the Lord. The goal of our music is giving praises, and glory to God. That is why music is part of our worship. Worship to God. Nice natin ang ating mga worship services sa ating mga local churches. 94 of them dito sa Kabite. Ay hindi lamang kong- congregation ng mga Sabbath keepers na nagsasama-sama pag Sabado. Kung hindi, ang ating pangitain ay Congregation of Sabbath Keepers na nagwo-worship na ang kanilang pagsamba ay meaningful, uplifting, na ilalapit sa Panginoon ang mga sumasamba, lively, need-fulfilling, Dynamic, ibig sabihin yung worship service natin with power. And our worship services must be transformational. Na sa ating experience, sa ating pag-worship, nababago ang ating buhay. Kaya nga ang sabi doon sa program sa PIC, uh, Dr. Gayoba, we enter to worship. We are transformed and we go out to serve. Ang music ay malaking bagay. It prepares the worshipers for the actual act of worship. Kaya po kayong lahat na narito ngayon, uh, ako po ay malaki ang aking paniniwala na kayo po ay gagamitin ng Panginoon para ang ating mga kapatid sa inyo-inyong mga iglesyang pinanggalingan ay magabayan, maturuan at maakay tungo sa isang tunay, makabuluhan at espiritual na uri ng musika sa ating mga iglesia. At ganun din, umaasa ako dahil ang atin pong mga resources dito ay hindi basta mga resources. Ang ating resource person na mga naririto ay uh, pinupuntahan dito sa AUP. Yung hindi taga AUP, kinukumbida natin sapagkat iniisip natin na sila yung makakapagtaas ng antas ng uri ng ating musika sa ating mga iglesia. 
At uh, dahil ito ay first, Sister Jade, meron itong second, meron itong third, meron itong fourth. Ha? Ah, kasi yung ating gift na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon, our ministry, kailangan ang ating aim ay excellence para mabigyan nating luwalhati ang Panginoon. So, on behalf of the uh, leadership of the Cavite Satellite Field of Central Luzon Conference, I would like to formally welcome you to this first music convention. Thank you very much. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat and happy Sabat. At uh, sa ngalan nga po ng Central Zone Conference, particularly po sa ating pong uh, Kabiti Satellite Field, uh, ito po ang isang makabuluhan na convention. Sapagkat kami po, uh, Dr. Gayoba, Pastor uh, Parulan, Pastor Canosa, ay nag-survey kami sa iba't ibang iglesia. Bago po nagkaroon tayo nito, meron pong survey team. At ang isa po na loopholes ng bawat iglesia ay kahit po pala sa pagpapaawit pa lamang pagkumpas, ay mali-mali na halimbawa po yung 4-4, ginawa po yung 6-8. Yung marami po talaga at Minsan po, talaga pong uh, sa halip na ikaw ay mababagabag ang iyong kalooban sa kataasan ng Diyos, ang nangyayari po ay ano po, nagtatawanan kasi po nga hindi akma yung ginagawa. So ito po mga kaibigan ay uh, resulta po ng aming assessment sa iba't ibang iglesia na napuntahan ng aming survey team. At kami po'y naniniwala na magiging makabuluhan hindi lang po sa note reading o sight singing at hindi lang po sa mga iba't ibang mga uh, choral conducting, mga churi tungkol po sa musika, mga rudiments nito. Kasama rin po mga kaibigan kahit ang mga instrument natin. Naniniwala tayo na napakahalaga po ang bahagi ng musika sa ating buhay, sa personal, sa ating relasyon sa Panginoon at gayon din po mga kapatid sa ating pong ma mga komunidad. Muli po bilang inyong uh, uh, na talaga dito sa ating uh, Kabiti Satellite sa larangan po ng musika ay ito po ay personal nating ino-open po ang ating pong uh, ang ating uh, music convention sa lugar po ng AUP. Muli po ay uh, naway ating ipanalangin na maging isang kapakinabagan at pagpapala para sa atin ang music convention na ito. Salamat po. Nice kong i-acknowledge po ang ating mga resource person ng ating first Kabiti Satellite Field Music Convention. Uh, una po, si James Ahok. Punta kayo dito sa unahan po, mga kapatid, kapag natawagan yung pangalan. And then si Eloisa Ramada. And then si Sir Ramon Lihaulco Sr. Sir Jonathan Pudaka. Ma'am Jurel Solidom. Ma'am Marilyn Biracho. And Sir Sariel Puna. Ito yung atin pong mga ilang mga resource person po. Ano po? Bukas po, mas marami po ang ating mga resource person. Dito kay sa gitna, mga kapatid.
satisfy that longing in your soul. You may search the wide world over, but you'll be just as before. You'll never find true satisfaction until you found the Lord. For only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Satisfy your soul. Yes, only He can change your heart and make you All the wealth you could obtain, yet you have not Christ within. Your living here could be in vain. There come a time when death shall find you. Riches cannot help you then. So come to Jesus, only He can satisfy. Only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Satisfy your soul. Yes, only He can change your heart. And make you whole. He'll give you peace you never knew. Sweet love and joy and heaven too. For only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Happy Sabbath, everyone. My task for this evening is to introduce our speaker, our guest for this um, Sabbath evening. Our speaker for this evening is a very simple and humble man used by God to give us inspiring and timely message of music. He is a teacher and he has been teaching in Baeza Adventist Academy for 26 years and also in Pasay City Academy. He is a master guide and a Pathfinder club director. And our guests, they're blessed with three children. Um, his eldest son is a nurse in Mamsi. And also he plays violin, of course. 
And his second son is a third year college in Mamsi as well. And his son also plays shallow. And that's why I asked him a while ago, are you a mem uh, family of musicians? And he said yes, because he plays also different kinds of instrument. And while his youngest daughter is flying tonight to Dubai, that's why he said, like, I cannot bring my daughter off to the airport because he's here with us to share a message. And for this evening, we are so blessed to have him. And I hope that we pray for him as well because I believe that Mom Jade told us that we should be inspired to have an innovation when it comes to music in our church to bring the, you know, to bring the presence and the holiness of God every time we have our worship. Our speaker for this evening is no other than Brother Jonathan Ramos Fadaka. Thank you very much, ma'am. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Uh, I don't know what's with the rain. Last time I spoke about temptation, it rained and it rained hard. Now I'm going to speak about music. It's raining. Something's with the rain. Now before I, I continue, let me tell you a wonderful story about my wife. I also have a wife. You know, there's something with women. They love the Divisoria. So, sabi niya sa akin, Dad, samama ako sa Divisoria. And we went to Divisoria. We were about to go home. And then biglang huminto. I was carrying heavy stuff, you know. Ako yung boy niya eh. And then huminto siya. And you know what happens when... When our, when our wife will stop, it's going to take a little while. Paghinto niya, sabi niya, I'm going to buy a plant. And it's very common. I think we, we all have one of these at home. It's a table plant. It's made up of little stems all tied together in red ribbons. Ang tawag yata nila doon ay fortune something. Yeah, fortune plant. And you just simply put the bottom of it in water and it grows on its own in regular sunlight in-house sunlight and it's beautiful so willing willy siya and she bought one and we brought it home i was happy okay but the thing now man she placed it right on our table and i said well we have to put some water on and then iniwana namin po siya and we start we looked at it and we love to see it grow there were about eight or nine stems unfortunately after about a couple of weeks or something, one stem started turning yellow. One stem started turning yellow. And sabi ko, Mami, parang may problema tong isang stem. It's not, it's not growing. It's getting, it, it's getting yellow. Ah, sabi niya, ma ma mag adapt din yan later on. And we waited, and after a week, it started turning brown. Eh, sabi ko, wait, 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 we have to save this stem. Sayang naman, the rest have grown. Siguro mga, siguro about this, lumaki na sila and we're happy. But this little one is dying. Is dying. And so, I, I, I quickly took the ribbon off and then started to check. And lo and behold, yung lahat ng stems around it, have grown roots. May mga roots sila. Pero yung nasa gitna, hindi ko alam if it was the trick of this vendor, may iksi siya. And its tip was not reaching the water level. It was not reaching the water level. And so it was not, it was not taken in nutrients, it was not taken in water as much as the rest of the stems. And so it started to die. I like, I like to make a little parallel, mga kapatid. I like, I like to think of that stem as our, as you and I. And I like, I like to, to liken that water to Jesus Christ. Are we growing roots in Jesus? 
Because, mga kapatid, if we are not reaching the water level, the, the living water, if we are not reaching the water level and our roots are not clinging to that water, to that living water, our music is dead. Our life is dead. Everything is dead. Kaya mga kapatid, with all this, things that we will study about music and learn about music, it will all boil down to one simple philosophy. Your relationship with Jesus Christ. Our relationship with Jesus Christ. Because music is a product of relationship. Oh, no ako po'y binata pa, and again, this story is about my wife, mabuti na lang, wala siya rito. Uh, she is sending off my daughter tonight. Nung nakita ko siya, we were singing, we were members of the Agape. Siguro, kilala niyo po yung Agape sa Baisa. We were members of the Agape. Doon kami nagkita at doon kami nagkatitigan. Habang umaawit kami sa, sa Agape. Mga concerts, we travel everywhere. We sing at funerals everywhere. And we love music. It's become part of our lives ever since then. Ah, Nung nakita ko yung ganda ng aking crush, bakit itong mga love songs na ito ay naging meaningful? Bakit itong mga music, bakit itong lyrics ng mga awit nito ay suddenly, oo nga no? Mas naging matamis yung mga music na yon. Dati, narinig mo lang sa radyo, wala lang. Didinig pa dito, wala lang. Bakit tuwing aawit at maririnig ko yung magagandang music, mga love songs na yun, naalala ko yung wife ko. And I started playing the guitar and tried to sing the songs. And while I was singing those songs, she was in my mind. She was in my mind. So mga kapatid, I, I would like to parallel. Si Jesus Christ mahilig magbigay ng parallel. Yung relationship, relationship ko sa wife ko, gusto kong i, i, i-parallel sa relationship natin sa Panginoon. The music that we sing actually is the product of our relationship with God. O oh, siguro, mas pag-uwi natin, pag umawit ng Worthy, worthy is the Lamb because He is worthy. We mean it. Iba mga ta, worthy, worthy is the lamb. Worthy. Kaya pansin nyo mga kapatid, pag umaawit tayo ng Tagalog, mas dama natin. Mas dama natin. Yung awit. Sapagkat it defines our relationship with God. Mga kapatid, I know we are going to learn much about music. Hindi po ako pastor. Pero how many times have we sang so sincerely at pagkatapos nating inawit yon, like we sang before God. Like we could see, Jesus was smiling at us and He's happy. Parang ganon. How many times have you, have you done that? How many times na umawit kayo na naramdaman nyo? Yung ganong feeling. Okay, let me now go on kasi po, medyo matagal yung, uh, ang sabi po ni uh, Sister Jade, ako daw ay, ah, uh, 40 minutes lang bibilisan ko po ito. Okay. Talaga pong ito ay mayroong mga sapi itong mga ganitong pangyayari. Bakit? Ah, uh, okay naman po ano, talagang marunong itong ating kaaway. First presentation pa naman. Ayan. Okay. Tingnan po natin at talagang tayo ay medyo ay sorry ma'am, hindi po pala ito. Ah. Uh, Ayan, minsan yung technology, okay naman kanina, ginamit ko pa po ito sa lesson ko kanina eh. Biglang ayaw niya na ngayon. Okay. Asa na ba yun? Let's play. Talagang ayaw niya, mga kapatid. Sandali po uli. At ito ay, hindi ko maintindihan. Talagang, opo, check ko lang po itong ating con- compatibility. Kasi medyo uh, ayaw niyang makisama sa atin. 
Check ko lang po. Ano? Okay. Yan. Mm-hmm. Talagang magaling ang ating uh, kaaway. Very high-tech na rin siya. Okay. Okay. Para talagang ayaw niya talaga. Okay. Ano ba? Ulitin po natin. Sana ayos na siya. Ito pong uh, Seventh-day Adventist philosophy of music ay uh, ito po ay uh, mukhang magiging ganto na lang ito. Ha? Ito ang mahirap sa technology. Ayaw din. Okay, so ganito na lang pong gagawin ko. Alam ko na po itong mangyayari na ito eh. Alam niyo po ba kanina gumana na to? Na, na, na-play na po namin kanina ito. Tapos biglang hindi po siya makisama ngayon. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. So, tuloy po natin, mga kapatid. Ayan. Salamat sa Diyos. <sighs> Ulit po. Yung atin pong introduction, music is a product of relationship. Okay? We start, that's our, that's our springboard. Music is a product of relationship. Kaya ka umaawit, ay meron kang gustong i-celebrate na relationship. It define a relationship. And our music is because of our relationship with God. Now, let's begin with this one. Gusto ko pong basahin na, natin ng saglit ito, but this is found, uh, let me have some biblical references first. John 4, 23 and 24, But the time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking much such as this to worship Him. And this is very important. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. We worship him in truth. We worship him based on the Bible. No question about that. But now, the other side of the scale is the spirit. Kakatapos lang po namin ng music seminar din sa CLC ng mga academy leaders. And Sister Jade was there to give us some keynotes. I stress to them, and I'm like to stress with you today, that when we worship in spirit, we transcend, we go beyond the walls of this church. We go beyond the ambience of this place. We go beyond what we see. When we worship, we transcend in the spirit realm. Marami, marami na po akong narinig na mga speakers. With all due respect, napakagagaling ng mga pastor natin. Napakagagaling naman nakikita ng mga uh, TV evangelists. Ang gagaling nila. But the, the question is always there. Is that only a mental ascent? Is the Bible, is, the, is worship only academic? At namimiss natin yung pinaka-core ng worship. And that is the spirit. God cannot be rich in physical manifestation. No. God is spirit. And we must behold and reach Him only in spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sabi ni Mrs. White. Now let me get 
this this is a very strong verse for me mga kapatid i have i have done some music uh, uh, lectures since i think 2002 nine, uh, 1992 since i started the academy but take a look at this and this is a challenge to all music leaders tingnan niyo mga kapatid ang nangyari let's go to the time of the israelites in second chronicles 5:13 and it came to pass as the trumpeteers and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord and when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praise the Lord saying for he is good for his mercy endureth forever while they were doing this what happened that then the house was filled with a cloud. Yes, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister because of the cloud. Why was there a cloud? For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. Amen. Wow, if this can only happen, ma'am. If this can only happen in our church. Ang ganda nung panahon ng Israelites. God presents Himself in some manif physical manifestation. Ngayon, hindi na. Baka pag ito, napuno ng usok, magtakbuhan tayo, may sunog, may sunog. You see? But in the Spirit's eye, do you believe that when you worship God in spirit and in truth, your church in Cavite, will be filled with the presence of God. Maybe without the physical cloud, but in spirit, God, God will bless the congregation. That is our aim, mga kapatid. That is our aim. And when, when we have done that, the Lord will rest in our church. Ang sarap nung, ang sarap nung ganong paniniwala natin, mga kapatid. So, pag nagpapas inspiration, tuturoan kayo nila, ma'am, ng mga dynamics ng music. Pag nagpapas inspiration kayo, mga kapatid, umawit po tayo. Sadyang karapat dapat. Di ba? Let's sing for the Lord. Oh, siguro na imagine, Lord, come and fill us. Tapos na po ang lecture. Pero yung GC kasi nagbigay ng guidelines eh. So basahin natin sila. Mga kapatid, medyo bibilisan ko po ito. Ang dami po. Music forms a part of worship. That's from Ellen White in the Patriarchs and Prophet. Uh, did you know that God... Oh, by the way, please don't bother, bother to... I can give you the two PowerPoints today. The one that I did in 2011 and the one that I did now. Pwede ko po ibigay sa inyo. You can freely use this in your churches. Now, Mrs. White tells us, oh no, the Bible tells us in Job 38.7 that God gave music to humans right at the very start. Nagbabasa po ako when this was given to my sister Jade. I went to the internet and read researches about animals and music. Can animals make music? The answer is yes. Sabi ng mga biomusicologist by the scientist name of... Uh, Scientist Hoy and another scientist by the name of Atema. Pinag-aralan nila. 20 years of research. Listening to whales. I was listening. I go, wow. Ang ganda. Tapos biglang sumabay na tatlong whales. Nagtatrayo sila, mga kapatid. Nakadiling na po ba kayo ng whale songs? Oh. Ang dami po, ang dami po. Pakinggan nyo. Nagtatrayo yung whales na umaawit at naglagay sila ng, ng sound recorder sa ilalim ng dagat. And, the, and the, the, the researchers were swimming with the whales. Ang ganda. And then, nirecord din nila yung sound ng mga ibon. Nirecord din nila yung sound pati ng mga animal sa forest. Pati yung lion. Oh, oh, oh. Na-record nila. Music ba yun? 
And so they started studying this one. They, call, they are called biomusicologists. And they found out one thing. Yung kanilang ginagawang sound has biological functions for mating. Mating calls nila. Tinatawag nila yung mga female. Ali kayo. That's the song of the whale. Pati naman pala yung ating mga ibon ay nagtatawag din ng mga female. But they are called songs. And would you believe that among mammals and animals, only humans have the aesthetic, I hope I pronounce it right, the aesthetic, aesthetic, <laughs> the aesthetic capacity to produce music just for the sake of music. Ang galing, ano? Tao lang pala talaga. And we know that God gave music to us to praise Him. Oh, manapo po sa Revelations. Huwag na po nating basahin lahat. The Bible is, deep, is, is oh, oh, studied with this, all of this. Uh, Ma'am, will you, will you not be offended if I take this off? It's getting a little warm. Salamat po. Tuloy po. Now, let's have this one. Okay, uh, I've discussed this already. Ito na po ang nangyari. It would have been good. It would have been really, really amazing that we can sing praises to the Lord until the enemy got in the picture. So Satan ay ang nagkataon magaling din sa music si Satan. The spirit of prophecy tells us that uh, he actually conducted choirs in heaven. Hmm. So alam niyo yung mga dynamics na ituturo sa atin. Magaling siya. Uh, meron pong isang kanta na medyo gustong gusto ko dati pero kinikilabutan lang ako tuwing maririnig ko ngayon. And it tells about Satan himself singing through the lips of the singer. And the lyric goes this way, I've been alive forever. And I wrote the very first song. I put the music and the melodies together. I am music and I write the song. You see, parang it's a very innocent, very innocent music. I used to sing that song when I was in college. But when, yung lecturer namin, na nag-lecture sa amin galing sa music department ng GC, sinabi niya, this is Satan himself. I go, what? See, very innocent. Siya pala yun. Pagpasok ni Satan, things change. Yung music na ini-enjoy ng mga, mga angels sa langit, nagbago na po. Nagbago na. And even now, hanggang ngayon, it's become worse and worse and worse. Then, nagkaroon pa siya ng exponential factor nung dumating itong last days. Money came in. When money came in, hindi po si money pakyaw. When money came in, money, when money came in, naging business ang music. At kung ano yung potok, kung ano yung patok, kahit masama yan, ibigay sa masa para kumita ng pera. Christian rock. Christian music. Patok yan eh. May pera dyan. Sige, pakantahin nyo to. I-record natin. Millions coming in. Tuwan-tuwa yung mga recording uh, companies. Why? O eh, pagbigyan natin lahat. Meron gusto na metal. Pera yan. Gusto ng mga nakakaiyak. Pera yan. Ito, mga banal to. Mga banal to. Daw, bigyan natin ng Christian rock. Pera yan. And ito na po ang ating nakagisnan ngayon. Unti-unti na siyang pumapasok sa church. Unti-unti na siyang pumapasok sa church. Meron ako naging, ay na, na, naka, nakasimba yata si Sister J doon. Ay tutugtog yung anak ko ng piano, ay ng violin. At ako ay magigitara. Aba ay nung nagsing inspiration na ay tumunog ang mga combo. At saka mga electric guitar. 
at saka mga keyboard na mga malalakas at ang amplifier ay concert K6. Eh, sabi ko parang parang iba. Dumadagumdum. Kumpleto po, parang iba. Parang iba talaga mga kapatid. At iba nga. Ito na po yung sabi ni Mrs. White, pag hindi pag ginamit natin ng mabuti ang music, it's uplifting. It's uplifting. Blessing to us. Pero pag mali ang paggamit, it becomes a curse. Sumpa. Not only to the church, but to you as a person, and not only to you as a person, but to the family, to everyone. It becomes a curse. Okay, so, um, may, medyo bibilisan ko na po ito kasi po tapos na yung oras ko kanina pang 10 minutes ago. Uh, um, let me now go directly to the philosophy. Pasensya na po kayo. Uh, before we go to the philosophy, let me define a few terms. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na sacred music. Ito po ay galing, ito po ay pinagmitingan at tinanggap ng General Conference Annual Council and Music, October 3, 2014. Ah, 2014, yes, 2014. Tinanggap po nila ito at ito ay ang statement ng Adventist Philosophy of Music. Pag sinabi po natin sacred music, oh, we have to understand this. Pag sinabi natin sacred music, this is the religious music and this focuses on God and on biblical and Christian themes. Yan ang sacred music. Ano po? Yan ang gagamitin natin. Magkaisa po tayo na pag sinabi natin sacred music sa mga discussions natin later ay ibig sabihin po na is focuses on three things. On God, biblical doctrines, and Christian themes. In most cases, this is intended for worship service, evangelistic meetings, for private devotion, and maybe both vocal and instrumental. However, Not all sacred and religious music may be acceptable for an Adventist. Okay? And sacred music should not evoke secular associations or invite conformity to behavioral patterns or thinking of acting. Tingnan po natin ito. Let's get to the next definition. It's called secular. Ano naman pong ibig sabihin ng secular music? Ginagamit natin ito madalas. Huwag mong kantahin yan. Bawal sa Adventist yan. Secular yan. Now, in the Adventist parlance, anong ibig sabihin ng secular music? Ito po yun. Secular music is composed for settings other than the worship service or private devotion. So, other than that, it speaks to the common issues of life and basic human emotions. It comes out of our very being expressing the human spirit's reaction to life, love, and the world in which the Lord has placed us. It can be morally uplifting or degrading. Okay, yung secular music natin. Although it does not directly praise and adore God, nevertheless, this is our statement on secular music, it could have a legitimate place in the life of a Christian. So, pwede rin tayong gumawit ng mga themes about our life, okay, about our daily life, about our probably our struggles, Our victories, but they are not directly praising the Lord. Pede puyon, pede puyon na awiti ng Adventist. Pero may guidelines po tayo yan. Eto na pinkisalon. Okay, in the selection of the principles discussed in this document should be followed. Tingnan po natin yung una. There are only two. Dalawa lang po. Una. Sabi ni Jerome Conference, all music the Christian listens to performs and composes. Whether sacred or secular, will glorify God. First Corinthians ten thirty one. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, whether you sing or compose music or you play instruments, do it all for the glory of God. Make sure that that music that you play on your guitar, on your piano, whether it's sacred or it's secular, be sure that it gives glory to God. Okay, this is the overriding, this is the overarching principle of all the music in church and in the Christian life. Second, all music the Christian listens to, performs, and composes, whether sacred or secular, should be the noblest and the best. So, wala po siyang specifics. 
Walang specifics. But it should pass the qualities of noblest and best. Noble. Wow. Napakataas po ng ideals ng Adventist sa music. Napakataas po. It's almost sublime. No? And this is our call. Tayo po ang mga gatekeepers sa church natin. We will not let any other music less than this get through the doors of our church. We will not. Let's have a resolve for that. We will do our best to keep the music as noble and as pure. Now, meron po tayong ilang mga pag-aaralan na guiding principles. Let me be quick on this. There are two so galing sa dalawang solid foundations na to, ito na po yung ating mga details ng guidelines. Number one, glorifying God in all things and choosing the best. I'm sorry, ito na po yung summary pala ng dalawa. Dalawang foundations lang po. Our music is to glorify God in all things. Our music should be the best and the noblest. Now, let's take a look at this guidelines. Pito lang po ito. Let me do this quickly. Our music is characterized by quality. Pag-aaralan po ninyo yan. By balance. Yan ang mga teams na pag-aaralan ninyo ngayon. And this is a lovely workshop, no? Appropriateness and authenticity. Music will foster spiritual, psychological, and social sensitivity and our intellectual growth. All of this, I believe, will be covered in the topics that will follow. B. The music should appeal to both the intellect and the emotion and impacts the body in a positive way. It should be holistic. Holistic. Opo, alam niyo na po yung word na holistic. Buo. Buo. Okay, letter C. Our music should reveal creativity in that it draws from quality melodies. Ayan, ayan ang ating mga, mga musicians. Diyan na po kayo papasok. Ah, ang sarap niyang pag-aralan. It har- if harmonized, it uses harmonies in an interesting and artistic way and employs rhythm that complements them. So, is- sila na po ang mag-define ng rhythm. Sino po yung magsasabi ng harmony? Paano yan ginagawa? At paano yan binabalanse? Pag-aaralan po natin. So don't you be absent. Probably you can call in more friends. Letter D. Vocal music. Pag-awit naman, nag-awit eh, ang ating bosses. It employs lyrics that positively stimulate intellectual abilities as well as our emotions and our willpower. Good lyrics are creative, rich in content, and of good composition. They focus on the positive and reflect moral values. So mali po yung sinasabi ng mga Christian rock singers that music is neutral, that music is amoral, that music has no bias, that music is relative. Ayan na po, ano? They, they should focus on positive and reflect moral values. They educate and uplift, and they correspond with sound biblical theology. Ang ganda talaga ng standard ng Adventist pagdating sa music. Napakaganda. Letter E. When it comes to musical and lyrical elements, they should work together harmoniously to influence thinking and behavior in harmony with biblical values. Pansin niyo po, yung music natin, Nakaugat sa banal na kasulatan. Naka-anchor sa banal na kasulatan, mga kapatid. Letter F, it maintains a judicious balance of spiritual, intellectual, and emotional elements. These are verbatim from, from the guidelines of the General Conference. Ito na po mismo yung nakalagay sa guidelines. And letter G, we should recognize and acknowledge the contribution of different cultures in worshiping God. So, hindi po tayo magiging bias dun sa mga ibang mga cultures na ang kanilang pag-awit ng music ay ang expression nila ay ganun. They will worship God. Hindi tayo mapaprejudice sa kanila, hindi natin sila i-judge. Hindi natin sila i-judge. Because in their culture, sabi to, they can, in their cultures, they have different cultures in worshiping God. Musical forms and instruments vary greatly in the worldwide Seventh Adventist family and music drawn from one culture may sound strange to someone from a different culture. 
Okay? So, let's have, we may be very sensitive to this, but let's have a little understanding. Gagamitin natin ang ating, well, pangunawa pagdating sa mga bagay na ganito. Alright? In Testimonies, Volume 1, page 497, Mrs. White states, ito po yung warning, and this happened a long time ago. Isipin nyo, sinulat niya ito, uh, 1902. Tingnan nyo. Kitang-kita niya. She, she states that just before the close of probation, there will be shouting with drums, music, and dancing. Can you imagine, mga kapatid, nakita niya ito? Nung panahon na yon. Church worship was very solemn and very conservative. Pinakita ng Holy Spirit kay Mrs. White, ganito ang mangyayari sa church. Right, right, right. The warnings. At sinulat ni Mrs. White. And we have so many, so many admonitions from Mrs. White. Ang galing. Ang galing po ng Seventh-day Adventist. The senses of rational beings will become so confused that they cannot be trusted to make right decisions. So imagine that. Uh, konti na lang pong story. Ina-invite ako, na-invite ako ng isang kaibigan ko. Mag, 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 uh, mag breakfast kami sa bahay nila. Yung katabi nila resort. Habang nagpiprepare kami ng breakfast, biglang nagtugtugan ng napakalakas dito sa resort. Sabi ko, Sir Ramil, anong nangyayari dyan? Ay, samba ng Pentecostal. Sabi ko, pa, pa, parang ano, parang rock concert. Ay, gusto mo silipin, may git doon. Out of my curiosity, Sister Jade, ako na may napapunta. Ay, yung bala, pag ako pumasok, ikaw ba'y kapatid namin? <laughs> Hulaan niyo sagot ko. Opo. Pumasok ka sa loob. Ay, kailangan yun ng earmuffs. Dugum, 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 dugum. And there were, there were ladies dancing all in white. Ganun pala sila. Mga nakaputi, may mga koronang bulaklak. May dalang mga tamburina na may mga ribbons. At nagsasayawan. Tapos yung pinaka-lead singer nila, yung babae, Praise the Lord! Pray ng Panginoon, magawit, magtayong po tayo lahat ng mga ito. Sabi ko, Palabas na po ako sa church. <laughs> Lumabas na ako sa church. Sabi ko, this is not for me. This is not for me. Hindi ko kaya, ma'am. Hindi ko kaya. Paglabas ko, doon sa gate, whew, I was terrible. At tuloy-tuloy ang music nila. Mga kapatid, feeling ko para silang napoposes. Honest, mga kapatid. Pasensya na po talaga ako. I'm sorry for using that word. Alam ko, naka-video to, naka-document ito eh. Piling ko po na po possess. Kulang na lang mag-levitate sila. Takot ako. Talagang lumabas talaga ako. Natakot ako. Baka lumutang din ako sa hangin. <laughs> and that's not for us. That's not for us. That is not the acceptable way to praise the Lord. No. To express the truth in the Bible. To give ourselves to God. I don't think that's the way. That's not. The Holy Spirit reveals itself in such method. Never. The Holy Spirit shall never reveal itself in such method in such a bedlam of noise. From the words of Mrs. White. Bedlam means a place of chaos. A place of trouble, confusion. God will never reside in that. Mga kapatid. This is the invention of Satan to cover up his ingenious method of making none of none effect the pure, sincere, elevating, and oblong, sanctifying truth for this time. So, tatakpan daw ni Satanas lahat pala yung mga katotohanan na yan. Tatakpan niya ng ano? This kind of noise. We call it Christian rock. Praise music. Okay. Ito na po yung challenge. I'm about to finish. We challenge all to choose the good and not the bad and to say No. At the end of this workshop, our resolve should be no. We, we shall be stern and rigid in protecting the way we do our music.
That should be our result. And lastly, basahin po uli natin, and this is the very aim of every music leaders. Please read this with me. It go. It to make one. Their voice and instruments of music and praise the Lord, saying, For He is good, for His mercy endures forever. And then what happened? That then the, with cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister because of the cloud. Why? Amen. Para po sa ating closing song, tayo po lahat ay tumayo at awitin po natin ang ating team song, One in Christ.
Our Father in heaven, we would like to bring back the glory, the praise, and honor to your holy name for your great love to us, for planting notes and music in us that we may bring back the glory and uh, the praises to you. Please bless us and may the things that we have heard be a part of our resolve, decision to only choose music that is uplifting and is praiseworthy of you. Guide this today and tonight. May we keep the Sabbath holy. And as this seminar goes on, will you please, may we request the presence of the Holy Spirit in every one of us, in all our activity, that we may direct the music of the church, especially in Kabiti Field Satellite, satellite Field. Bless us now, dear Lord, and please accept our um, commitment to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, para po sa ating mga announcement po, ang ating pong unang-una po sa lahat, na po, unang-una po sa lahat ay ang ating pong schedule. So, katulad po bukas, na po, maraming salamat, Sir Podaka. Okay, salamat po. Ang 